Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I'll be trying Neutrogena Rapid Wrinkle Repair Serum for 7 days and by the end of this video, I will show you if the product has changed my skin or not. Before I start a brief of the product, the Rapid Wrinkle Serum from Neutrogena is a retinal based serum which uses accelerated retinal SA instead of retinal only. So if you're wondering what accelerated retinal SA is and how is it different from the conventional retinal we use, well, retinal SA is an ingredient patented by Neutrogena and the SA stands for sustained action. Keep in mind that in this serum, they have not only used retinal SA, but they have used the accelerated version of it, which is supposedly a better version of retinal SA and delivers not only retinal SA, but glucose complex and hyaluronic acid too. To be honest, the ingredient looks so interesting, but I'm concerned about two things. First, if you notice the ingredient list, Retinal is not on the top 5 ingredients on the list. Instead, it's way later in the list. That concerns me because it means the concentration is not so high. Now, why it concerns me? Because my skin is already used to 1% retinal. I have been using it for years. So my skin is already used to with the irritation or everything related to high percentage of retinal. So I'm not so sure a lower concentration like this would work on me, but we will see. And then the biggest concern, the fragrances. You know, my skin really hates fragrances, but as this is the last in the ingredient list, I'm hoping it won't irritate my skin like the other products with fragrances did before. Fingers crossed. So for next one week, this will be my serum and as they haven't mentioned how many times I have to use this, I'm assuming it's up to the consumer which they can actually decide and I decided that I will use it on my nighttime skincare routine. So basically it means that I will use it once in a day. Now if you ask me what expectations do I have from this product, as I don't have any wrinkles on my face, Luckily, my expectation from this serum is that it will make my skin tone better and bring a glow which a good retinal serum usually does. Now here's the thing, you might be wondering why I'm using it for only a week when I know that any product takes at least two weeks to show any visible results. Well, because Neutrogena itself claims that its rapid wrinkle repair products are so good that people saw noticeable improvements to their skin after using them only for one week. And how much truth into that you will find out in few minutes. So without further ado, let's start. Okay guys, so this is my first day and I'm super excited to try the Rapid Wrinkle Repair Serum from Neutrogena. So as you can see, I have already double cleansed my face. On my face currently, I have um, my essence and also the eye cream. So before applying, I can show you that currently my skin is suffering a bit of redness here. Uh, here as well. I have some closed comedons here as well. So before it was worse, but I have fixed almost <laughs> some of them, as you can see. So my skin here is a bit rougher than the skin I have here. So let's see. So in their instruction, they said that you have to take a pea size. So here it is. I'm taking this one. In case of moisturizer, instead of dabbing, I like to mix it up a bit like this, like a small massage, you know. So I'm kind of done and done, sorry. And now I'm going to bed. So hopefully, hopefully tomorrow, I'm not so sure, but hopefully we will see some changes. I'm not expecting much because it's only the second day. So I can't really expect something significant. But let's see so this is my second day and i'm super excited to try the serum again i think if i'm not wrong my skin looks a bit better than yesterday i don't know maybe it's a placebo effect but so i have double cleaned my face i have used a cleansing balm and i have used a cleansing milk i washed my face i put the essence i put the hydrating serum also the eye cream 
and now I am going to put the retinal serum. It's my third day and again I am super excited every day when I am using that serum. I am super excited because I don't know what's going to happen to the next day. So I think my skin is ready for the bed. Okay, so done for today. I will talk to you tomorrow again. <laughs> Bye. So today is the fourth day and let's see what happens. Before I start applying it, I want to give you some updates. If you can see here, like I have some tiny, tiny, something like breakouts, but I'm assuming those are not breakouts. I'm assuming my skin is purging. For now, that's all. I will see you tomorrow again. I know it might be boring to you because I'm doing the same thing every day, but that's what the challenge is about using the serum for seven days and see if it changes the skin or not. So I'm sorry guys, but I can't help it. <laughs> So let's see what happens tomorrow again i'm going to put it i i have double cleansed my face uh i have used a cleansing balm a milk cleanser then i have put my essence oh my god i kind of feel like i memorized the whole routine <sighs> okay and then i applied the hydrating serum and also before applying the serum and essence i have applied the eye cream so now i'm going to apply this one so this is almost almost the last day hi everyone so today is the last and seventh day of putting the serum on my face and before i put the serum i want to give you some updates so today when i woke up i saw some irritation on that part of my face so it was itching a lot this is not purging for sure because purging usually doesn't itch and it was itching very bad so i can i can actually tell you that this is a reaction i'm almost using this serum for six days and now my skin is finally started showing reactions so uh it's it's not that bad but um it itches a bit and i can when i put my finger on it i don't know if you are able to see it or not if i can come close but uh, it's, it's pretty itchy but that won't stop me to put the serum for the last time on my face because it's the last day so i can take the risk risk not risk risk so i can take the risk yeah so my skin is ready for bed i can see that and i will see you tomorrow with my verdict and my final comments about the product hi everyone so i'm back and today instead of putting the serum i'm here to give you the verdict of Neutrogena Rapid Wrinkle Repair Serum. So let's start. But before I start giving you my verdict, I want to add some things. First, yesterday after I put the serum on my face and went to bed, I noticed that I was having two or three bumps here and it was itching like crazy, like crazy, okay? And I was clueless. Like uh, I never had this kind of reaction before. So I didn't know what to do. And it was itching, itching, itching. And at one point, I actually had to get up from my bed and had to put something because it was itching like crazy, okay? So apart from that experience, I can say that the serum worked pretty well. But before I give you the final, final verdict, I made some notes about the serum. So let's check. I, I actually put it in my notes. So first for prones, what I wrote, nice packaging. Now, when I talk about the packaging, I remember like in the last six or seven videos, I kept talking about the packaging and how much I love it because it looks really fancy, like really fancy. And the best part of the packaging is the pump because then you don't have to keep track on how much you are taking off. And it, it's very easy to take a P amount using this pump because it's very convenient. Another note what I made, the price point is good so yes the price point is good because i think that if you are looking for retinal based 
serums which are basically made for anti-aging or targeted for anti-aging they are pretty expensive and in this case Neutrogena is able to give you uh, the serum at $36 which I think a pretty good price because in this price like serums are usually expensive third point I wrote the texture of this cream uh, the texture of the serum is cream means it is more moisturizing so this is another thing like a lot of serum I see either it's oil based or gel based I like personally I like oil based serums but the problem with oil based serums is that you sometimes if you have oily skin or if you have skins which sweat in the daytime you actually uh, you actually trouble using those kind of serums you get trouble using those kind of serums because they make your skin look more greasy right so so far i have given three points in the pros so <clears throat> let's see what are the cons so first in cons what i wrote didn't work in seven days oh god do i have to mention it no it didn't work in seven days like i didn't see any significant change on my skin after seven days like this is my eighth day and you can see like if you see my other videos i don't Think you can see much differences because there are not any much like significant difference right so the thing is the good point it actually improved my texture here okay so that's the only thing it worked uh, on and otherwise it didn't work on anything else initially in the first two days it was glowing I don't know what happened on third day it started getting like you know what I mean? So Neutrogena, maybe you have to change your tagline and you have to mention that it doesn't work in seven days for skins like mine. Like, I don't know, maybe it works for some other people, but for me, it didn't. Sorry. Another con, what I wrote, can make your skin dry if used every day. So here's another thing. First two days, first, first day actually, not two days, first day I was using it without any hydrating serum. Next morning when I woke up, I saw that my skin was a bit dry here and here, like in this area. Usually my skin gets dry in these areas. If you are planning to buy this one and planning to use this one every day, better if you incorporate it with a hydrating serum because otherwise your skin will be super dry and you can see some peeling and flaking. The last con, what I wrote, might work for some people, but in some places of my cheeks, I got some irritation which were itching. Oh God, what I sh should tell you about the itching, it was so bad. I mean, it's been long since I had such irritation, you know. The first six days, it was okay, but the last one, it was bad. It was bad. Anyways, so it made my skin dry in the beginning and then... I had some purging third day on third day I guess it started here the purging went okay it was okay but the itching I had on that side oh I still have some bumps here so what is my verdict of this product will I buy it again absolutely not <laughs> no way because the way it made my skin itch I can never forget that and I don't like products which claim one thing and then you use them and then you see it's doing exactly the opposite. Uh, I don't like those products <laughs> to be honest. If you are a beginner to retinol, mm, you can give it a try. I mean if it itches, you have to stop immediately. Keep in mind that this one has fragrances. I'm like 100% sure that the itchiness came from the fragrances. My skin hates fragrances. So now the question is, should you buy it? Well, if you ask my honest opinion, I will say that there are plenty of other retinal serums available in the market. If you are really enthusiastic about retinal and if you're a really retinal fan, maybe give the other products a try, not this one. So that was my experience with Neutrogena Rapid Wrinkle Serum. I hope you liked it. If you did, please don't forget to press the like button and subscribe to my channel. You can also follow me on my socials. The handles are given right here. My name is Salmin and I'll catch you on my next one. Until then, ciao!